Hello, I'm Maya. In this video, I will explain the validation function of RICO Smart Integration Logic Flow, RSI Logic Flow for short. With RSI Logic Flow, I can automate the processing of documents, but I would like important information to be checked before proceeding. I can easily configure whether or not the users can, or must, validate the information. Let's get started. I already have created a new application and set up the source and root. The validation function is automatically added when I add a metadata extraction function such as recognize invoice data or read barcode. Since I selected recognize invoice data, a panel called validate extracted data has been added. The validation settings section has three options. I can make users validate the documents at runtime, add them to a web-based confirmation list for a delayed validation, send without confirmation, or any combination of these options. In my case, I selected the first tick box because I want to ensure that data is always reviewed when the document is processed. If I save this application and run it on the MFP, a confirmation screen will always appear after document have been scanned. The confirmation screen shows the extracted data and the confidence level in green, yellow or red, making it easy to check. If there are incorrect data, users can correct them using the software keyboard or press the correct on image button to select the correct data from the document image. The same can be done when running this application on PC to process digital documents. If the user has access to a PC, it is more practical than the MFP screen. It is good to release the MFP from a long activity validating data on the screen. RSI logic flow allow to check on PC the documents scanned from the MFP. Let me explain you how. I go back to the application settings screen and select the second option in the validate extracted data panel. I have selected two options and users can choose whether they want to confirm immediately or later in the confirmation list. On the MFP runtime screen, the button above the start button allows users to choose confirm now or confirm later. If they choose confirm later and press the start button, the operation on the MFP will be completed immediately after the documents have been scanned. So there is no need to wait in front of the MFP for the process of extracting data from the document to finish. Similarly, when running from a PC, users can now choose between confirm later and confirm now. When dealing with large amounts of documents and data, even when processing from a PC, it is recommended to use confirm later as the process can take a long time. When confirm later is selected and executed on the MFP or PC, the processed documents are added to the confirmation list in the tab on the left-hand side of the PC runtime screen. The data extraction of the documents I have just scanned from the MFP has been completed, the documents to be confirmed have been added and a number is displayed indicating the number of documents. It can take time before the documents appear on the list, especially if many have been sent for process. When I select a document from the confirmation list, the extracted data and the image of the document are displayed, so I confirm the data and press the send button. If multiple documents have been pulled in the confirmation list, you can continue the confirmation process by clicking the send and confirm next button. As I explained, I have set up my application so that users always confirm either immediately or later by adding documents to the confirmation list. However, there may be cases where confirmation is not always required. If I am using a process with very few reading errors, such as barcodes, or if I have processed documents of the same format several times and have confirmed that the data extraction by AI is reliable, I may be able to skip the confirmation process. The third option allows users to send documents without confirmation. Send Now has been added to the MFP runtime screen, and it can now be selected on the PC run screen as well. Selecting Send Now completes the operation immediately and the documents will be sent as soon as they have been processed, which is useful if you are sure that the process is accurate. 
This is all the explanation of the verification process. Look forward to seeing the other videos. See you soon.